So for the past couple of months, I've been testing out Samsung's latest front-loading washer. This is the 2016 model, specifically the WF50K7500AV. And this washer is simply amazing. And there are a lot of features that I want to walk through. I realize when you see something in a showroom, you don't always see all the features or hear about everything. You can't really test it out. But I have, like I said, a few months of experience using this and thought I'd walk through a few of the things on here. I have a family of five, which means we are producing a lot of dirty laundry every week. And one of my complaints about my previous washer was that it was tiny. It was a front loader as well. But uh, I was simply amazed once I started doing some loads in this Samsung at how massive it is. So you can see here, this is the uh, stainless steel drum inside and it holds up to five cubic feet. And what does that translate to? Well, a massive amount of laundry. What I used to do in two loads, I can now do in one load. And this steel drum is great because it resists those scratches and nicks that may happen with other types, you know, from zippers or buttons or things like that. And it is huge, like I said, and I'll show how much it can actually hold in a little bit. So this model has pretty much every feature that you could possibly want. Hopefully you can see this display here. Always when you turn it on, you're greeted with the chime. This is true on the dryer as well, which I'll be reviewing shortly. But you turn it on and then it gives you, it has a nice readout that has all the options. This is fully uh, touchable to change some of the settings there and I'll show it. But most importantly are all the different settings that you have here. Anywhere from normal loads, which is what we usually do, to things down like bedding. And I'm going to be loading this up with some sheets to show you how that works. Whites, sanitize, allergen. I just washed my dog's bedding in here, which runs it for like two and a half hours and eliminates dust mites and pet dander and things like that. Rinse and spin. And then you have other options on the side here. Uh, quick wash, permanent press, wool, and this big one right here, delicates. Since I have three girls, we're washing a lot of delicates all the time. And so this is one of the, the settings that I use a lot. So when you decide on a setting, you simply spin the dial like this. And you get an estimated time as to how long it may take. So like if I set it to normal, you'll see it takes 45 seconds. But there's some other settings along here that you can easily customize. So things like extra spin or extra rinse, or if you want to change the temperature setting, or super speed, which if you're in a hurry, it'll cut the time down by 15 minutes. So you can turn that on and off. So one of the things that I really recommend is using the steam setting. And this adds uh, quite a bit of time and raises the temperature a bit, but I found that it really gets the clothes extra clean. So I always use the steam setting. You can also change the temperature really easily once you uh, decide on what you're doing. Uh, spin, you can set that to a higher spin, low spin depending, but most of the time it's all preset and you can go with those settings. This is where you put all the detergent, any pre-wash stuff, bleach and softener. You can use pods which you would throw in there, but actually I would recommend using a liquid HE detergent because it has this feature built in called power foam. And what it does, you put the, the liquid detergent in here and as it's going into the wash, it foams the, the uh, detergent to get better penetration of uh, soil and dirt stains and and that type of thing so it, it it basically aerates the detergent which helps it penetrate into the fabric better so when the Samsung washer is on it actually has a light that lights up so you can see everything that's in there 
a uh, nice little feature to have. Another thing that I really like, and this is something that you don't really think about much, there's a little door right here which has access to cleaning out filters and stuff like that. So in my previous washer, I had to actually prop the thing up, take everything apart. It took a couple of hours to do. With this one, there are a couple of really easy access um, entry points here to do all the cleaning. So that is a great feature to look for when you're looking for any type of uh, washer for easy access to the cleaning. But the uh, this Samsung also has an automatic uh, self-clean setting. So after a certain amount of loads, I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, it's going to tell you, hey, we need to clean it our, our the whole system. And this will like sanitize everything inside it'll help with the this rubber liner here um, to clean that all out and that's something that you don't really have to think about that much because it, it just basically does it for you um, normally you'd have to like bleach down on my old machine I had to like bleach it and clean it to stop mildew from forming and weird smells and stuff like that so this is pretty much built in so another hugely innovative feature that this Samsung has that not many other washers have, in fact I haven't really seen anything like this, is let's say you've started a wash and um, you're, you're, it's already locked, the door locks when it starts up so you can't open it and spill water out. But let's say you're, you're washing something and your kids come up to you and say, oh, I got to wash this jersey or something and I need it done right now. So what you can do is you actually hit pause here and that unlocks this really handy add a load feature. So this is a little entry point so everything will pause and you can just pop things in in the middle of a cycle or at the beginning of a cycle and then close it hit resume again and then it'll lock this door and it'll keep washing it so that has saved me uh, a lot of time of having to rewash something or wash something separate or or what have you so amazing feature to have so one thing that really appeals to me being high tech dad is the fact that this washer can optionally be um, connected to your home network and it becomes essentially smart. So you do have to purchase a little USB device that, that hooks in with your, your Wi-Fi network and you have to go through some setups. Uh, which is pretty straightforward, but once you have it set up, you can use a, an iPhone app or an Android app that lets you actually see how much time is left on your particular wash cycle. So right now, since it's off, it's saying that it's not connected, but once I turn it on, I can actually control the washer from afar and say, pause it, or how much time is left, and then the best thing for me because our, our laundry room is sort of away from the main house is that I get a notification that says, hey, you know, my wash is almost done or hey, it's done, so come and get it. And that saves me running up and down stairs and, and going to check the status of the washer. So how much can you actually fit in here? Well, I have four beds worth of uh, sheets here that I'm going to basically put in here and load up. So I do recommend, because of how uh, this washer spins, it spins really fast on some settings, that you wash uh, sheets separately. That way they don't ball up, you don't get like uh, towels or shirts or, or stuff like that caught in the washer. So you can see I'm basically loading this whole thing up. Hope you like doing laundry with me, but anyway, so you can see, pretty massive uh, basket and filled it all up. There's still room in there and you can see with the light that, uh, that there's still room. And so you just basically close it up. And I'm actually going to set it on bedding. It's going to take me an hour and 15 minutes, but I'm going to do the steam setting. So it's going to actually take about an hour and 41 minutes and again with the connected USB dongle I get notifications and can see the status on my phone so I'm just gonna put in some liquid detergent it's gonna do that uh, foaming action and clean it and away I go 
So I overfilled this a bit, but I like filling it a little higher when I have a bigger load. You, there is a max indicator in there. You just pop it in there. You're good to go. You hit start. And one of the things I wanted to show is actually how quiet it is. So right now it's filling up the drum and foaming the detergent and it's uh, incredibly quiet. So if you have it in the main house, you're barely going to notice that it's doing anything, especially also when uh, you have uh, like kids in the house and you want it to be quiet, you're not going to hear anything with this. So it's filling up right now. I just wanted to show you the add -a load feature. So it's already locked. I can't open this, but if I hit pause, then this unlocks. I can dump in some more stuff, close it, hit start again, and this locks and the door is locked and I can add the, the, the load or extra laundry into uh, a wash that's already running. So the retail price on this Samsung front loading washer, and this is the 2016 model, it came out maybe a month or two ago, is about uh, $1,500. You can probably get it cheaper somewhere, negotiate. I really highly recommend it. It's Energy Star uh, compliant. There are settings where you can uh, even make it more energy efficient. And uh, it's, it's pretty good on the water. Front loaders are usually better on water. But I really think that this is a perfect uh, washer for really, really busy families, especially with the connected app that tells you when it's done. The huge capacity is great for really large families because you can do uh, fewer loads and larger loads at once. And it has a bazillion settings here that you can customize and do how you want it. So. Highly recommended for, for busy parents. Haven't had any real issues other than, like I said about the sheets, sometimes balling up with towels. So now I'm just washing all my sheets separate and it seems to work great. So uh, if you want to read more about this, you can uh, visit my website and that's at www.hitechdad.com or you can ask me on Twitter and I'm at hitechdad. Be sure to head over to my Facebook page. That's at facebook.com forward slash HTD blog. And also, I will be doing a review separately of the, the companion to this, the sister, brother, what have you, the sibling, which is the dryer. So matching set. So be sure to check that out on my YouTube channel.